Season Baji. Uh, this is like the third of like a mini part series. I wasn't even realize how many like supplements there were in the store. Um, so go back and watch those because we talked like there's magnesium stuff here. We talked about magnesium there, and we'll probably cow. So it. yeah, the stuff that we've talked about before, we're kind of going to go through a bit quickly. So, so if you're confused, just go back to the yeah, other so now ones. Now we're just looking at more variations of the products, basically. Which is, um, yeah. So shall we start and maybe so, up? So yeah. yeah, we'll just we'll just go down like across like. So that one's talking about sleep, which um, is interesting. I yeah. wonder that maybe it has a melatonin like, in it. Same, but this is like Saint John's Wort or whatever. Like I don't even know. So that like, um so basically I guys really um I don't mean to offend anyone, but homeopathy is not a thing, and it does not work, and well, it's not a thing. And some, so uh, see, this is a Saint John's Wort. I don't know. I could look into it. Some of um, them do have some effects, but like, yeah. But basically, um, homeopathy is a bit of a meme, and so uh. Yeah, and here's another. Uh, yes. <laughs> so wait. So this was mood balance, actually, Saint John's Wort, and there's easy sleep. But, but does it actually have actual in. active ingredients? Because it may be that it has um actual like melatonin or something in it. No, from what I so it's just mainly um the homeopathic stuff. Homeopathic stuff a bit more. I would I would avoid it personally, but um. People have, you know, like had success, I guess. Yeah, well, it's possible. Um, yeah, so then let's have a look. Um, uh, so we have so calcium. calcium, vitamin D. So like so we, we talked about in the yeah. previous one, uh, vitamin D ups your um, calcium like absorption. absorption and intake and how much you hold on to and stuff like that. And I would say you don't really need supplement vitamin uh, calcium unless you like really really need it. Because there have been a few studies that showed like uh, actually made like calcium is meant to be healthy for your heart, but cal calcium supplementation resulted in like less uh, healthy hearts and stuff like that. So if we look here, this is a calcium from calcium carbonate. I don't really, can't really so speak to calcium, that. Dave, calcium carbonate is limestone. <laughs> Epic. Um, Michael is a minor geologist. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have a uh, chloro. Califerol or whatever, the vitamin D, very com like common, that's like very common, but this is only 400 IU, very small dosage actually. So this is actually kind of okay. Iron from iron ferrous... Uh, very little one, 1.6 milligrams. And then there's uh, some manganese, there's I don't really know too much about magnesium. And, and then there's, there's magnesium heavy from magnesium heavy magnesium, magnesium oxide, this will not help give you anything. You basically don't absorb magnesium from magnesium oxide, like we said in the previous videos. So shall we move on um, to this? This is turmeric yeah, here, which we've discussed through, quickly, so but shall we just check how much it is? It's turmeric. Um, so like different products, you need like 80 capsules, 80 bucks, you need like do your do your math. Do your math. Yeah, 15... Hundred fifty milligrams. Well, uh, cucumoids, uh, uh, the curcuminoids, uh, hundred milligrams. So that's actually um, less than the other one. Less than the other one. Yeah, not um, that much. Okay, let's power through this. Um, okay, power, 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 power. Um, Energy B complex. Support. That's vitamin so that's B. B. Complex vitamins. Yeah, I, I think I think that's pretty good. Magnesium. Let's look at this. So this yeah, is so interesting. So we just want to check what um, type of magnesium this is. So here we have this is f magnesium from heavy oxide is the biggest dosage. Not useful. Not not good at all. Here we have. Um, Magnesium from magnesium amino acid chelate, good. Uh, here we have manganese from magnes manganese amino acid chelate. Don't really know too much about man manganese supplementation. You'll have to look into that yourself. And then some vitamin B6. Not sure what's happening there. Let's see if they say what that's for. No, I'm not really sure what the um, vitamin B6 is for. Maybe some other muscular recovery um, stuff. Then we have a sugarless vitamin C, I guess. Like we said, I don't really think vitamin C is uh, like. It is in interesting lots of because things. there is evidence that it can help with immune support. Yeah, um, supplementation yeah, like, of vitamin C. Yeah, you can if you want, but like. With that said, though, if you are eating a balanced diet, yeah, it's in the. Because I believe stuff. that if we just talk about it real quick, the reason a lot of studies um, in the states come with some interesting results is because people don't have balanced diets. So if you are just eating macas all day and then you take vitamin C, you're probably going to see some results, right? Because you, that's the first time you probably had in yonks. But if you have a balanced diet, then a lot of the supplementation, the, the benefits that seem to go away in the studies. So it's just just keep that in mind. Yeah, yeah, I guess yeah, like. And these are to fill holes in your diet, not necessarily to replace that. Yeah. Then we have like this stuff, dunno, um, and garlic? that with garlic and zinc. Is garlic zinc. supplementation. So I, know, I, know, I know zinc is pretty good. Garlic has lots of good effects, but how high this dosage is and whether it's actually going to do much for you, I don't know. And then vitamin C, like we said. Now we get into Centrum, who's a big um, multivitamin uh, yeah. supplement. You can see it's been as a I, lot. As far as I stand on this, um, I think basically multivitamins are oh, like, okay, but there's so many um, interactions between different. Uh, uh, like minerals and stuff so like if you take one thing of something it will block your absorption of another if you take uh, one thing of something it will like up your absorption of another thing like and there's multivitamins of so many different uh, things it's kind of hard to track down like which ones you'll actually be absorbing well and which ones you're not and you just take them like one dose at one time of the day so like I mean if you don't want to think about it maybe like yeah, I haven't actually. I don't even think there's been any conclusive studies from people that like aren't Centrum. You know, like, that's yeah. Sort of thing. See, this is the thing they're with like a, a lot of, of uh, food science that a lot of the studies are done by the companies themselves. Yeah. And that doesn't necessarily mean they're wrong, but it does just call into question because obviously the incentives can be a bit weird. Obviously, you know, because you should, want to prove it you did we, well. Uh, should we move on to like the next row? So yeah, should we start with the next have, row? Like, yeah. uh, the same brand. Like these are just like the ones that have like a sort of like a, it's not a thing. It's like a hello focus. Like 
I don't yeah. know. Looking, I also do not trust anything that uses the word detox. Uh, that's oh, a, like, yeah. a so, massive so, red flag. So, so look into what they have. Like, here's Hello Calm. This might have, like, it's just like it has herb stuff. Like, I don't Does know. Does it have any actual um, ingredients that are actually Let's relevant? have a look at this detox one, though. So this is a dry fruit extract, uh, milk thistle, like... I, I, I so don't even know. So this is what we call, um, like, I don't in, in the business, we call this uh, bullshit. Um, yeah, I don't know. Can't really speak to it. Uh, but, yeah, I don't think... And now we're back into our multis, like I said. Um, so you same same sort of yeah. thing as, as we discussed. Yeah. Here yes. we have um, an iron supplement. Oh, should we have a look at this? We don't know too much about iron supplements, but we found them quite interesting. Um, oh, what I know about iron supplements is that if you're vegan or vegetarian, they can be definitely good to look into. Particularly if you find yourself lightheaded. If you stand up and you're getting lightheaded and you're a vegan, uh, definitely so here we have, might be worth um, testing your iron Iron glycinate, I think. So we were just talking about glycinate, actually. And then vitamin C. And so some were you other saying things. that glycinate is a good amino acid? Glycinate has like quite positive effects on the body, like helps relax. So I think it makes a, like circulation better. Uh, yeah, like glycinate is quite good. Then we uh, move into. Pregnancy, breastfeeding, and literally know nothing about that. Yeah, yeah that's, this is not <laughs> definitely, our area. Definitely consult your doctor, though, before you take any of this stuff. Because a lot of supplements you actually should not take if you're lactating or if you're pregnant. Yes, um, so you just have to... So if you're pregnant here, you're kind of trusting them that they did their research properly. Um, let's have a look. This is interesting. So um, one of the effects that magnesium actually has is help, it helps your sleep. But that uh, helps you have, like, a deeper sleep. Uh, it actually makes me more, a bit more drowsy sometimes as well. Um, so let's have a look at what this actually is. They just say sleep sound formula. Let's see what they actually are, are doing here. Um, can I just take that because it's got a, it's a bit shiny for the camera. Yeah, so pause it if you need to. So yeah. here we have um, we can see they have some like valerian root, valeria root stuff. So that's like the homeopathic sort of thing. Um, may help, may not, whatever. Uh, like lemon balm, yeah, more homeopathy. And then here's like an actual like active ingredient. Actual like ingredient. Magnesium phosphate uh, pentahydrate. And we, we actually saw this penta. That means probably so, five. So five hydrogen. Hydrogen. hydrogen so we saw this before. Uh, Fifty five grams of. Uh, Okay, uh, welcome back to potentially part three of our um, supplement thing. We were just filming like this top row here, and Michael's phone ran out of battery because he never charges it and came to do fil YouTube filming YouTube videos with 15% on the side here. Yeah, so here we're back uh, to a different uh, brand. So there's like interesting, you don't see different brands, what they have, whether you like that form of like whatever they're supplying you, the magnesium. So here we have multivitamins, we talked about that, we won't even look at them. Collagen Glow, like we saw more collagen products in the previous videos. And hair, skin and nails, these so are all I assume just, that's just collagen again. Although yeah. this one says support collagen production, so maybe it has some sort of supplement. Yeah, so, supposedly. so we don't know too much about that. And um, then there's iron, iron. should we just so we check out the iron real With quick? vitamin C, helps manage dietary iron deficiency. So this is probably designed for uh, vegans or vegetarians who are so not getting uh, enough iron. Apparently the vitamin C helps with the iron absorption. <clears throat> And if you look here, we've got an iron from amino acid chelate. So, uh, so it's, so know, it's, that's a, it's good. a good form of iron. I don't really know if ma amino acid chelates are good for all things, but I know they're definitely good for magnesium, so probably yeah. pretty good. Now, um, let's have a look here. So now we come High through. Strength, cranberry, like we said, we don't know anything about cranberry. Um, what is that? Hemp, hemp seed, seed oil. oil. So as far as I understand... Is that, so, uh, is that CBD? So we can look. It says... It says no, good source, okay, good bad. source of omega three and omega sixes. But like, really, do we really actually we... want this? Um, so if you look, omega sixes quantity per. Rotate it over a little bit, just so I can get that for the camera. Just so people can pause it if I need to. Um, so that, it might look different because we're filming on my phone now as well, because Michael's phone ran out of battery. Um, if you look here, we have omega sixes, zero point uh, one point two grams, and omega threes like 0 0.36 grams so the ratio Wait, so it's actually less omega 3s than omega 6s definitely so what we said in the first one is that you want the ratio to be about 1 to 1 and most people have way too much omega 6 so you actually want more omega 3 in your supplements yeah when you're taking an omega 3 supplement you probably want to bring that ratio back yeah but this, ra this will actually and make your ratio but, even but, but worse like, how ratios work if your ratio is 120 and 1 to 20 and this ratio is like 1 to 4 taking this will, actually will help a little better. bit but um, it's not it's not um, yeah, so like I don't know I, I, probably, I, I would, I would I stay away from that maybe if you're vegan or something um um, yeah, the thing Dietary. with omega-3 and omega-6, if you're vegan, is most of the supplements, the good ones, are fish oil or krill oil. Yeah, they'll or... be from some sort of But that said, if you're a vegan, I'm not really too sure if you should be concerned about krill, but that's, a, that's an interesting topic. Um, <laughs> so uh, these, is, these are probiotics? Probiotics, we don't really know probiotics, too Probiotics, if they're good, they're good. If yeah, you kind of see what we think. So to our, to what we know about probiotics is a good probiotic is good for you, but we don't know what makes a good probiotic. And then, like, this is very interesting. So like, teen, teen boys. girls, teen boys, I don't really know. I, I, let's skip over that. Seems yeah, multivitamins. Multi so here we have zinc supplementation. Um, so um, zinc is apparently... Is it, lots of people are quite big fans of zinc, but I don't know too much about it, so don't really... Um, this has magnesium, amino acid chelate as well, magnesium phosphate, uh, zinc amino acid chelate, so it like, seems like a pretty good source, but... 
Not so did that have magnesium as well in it? Uh, manganese. Manganese, okay. And then here we have like... Yeah. So what's this? More um, multivitamins. So multivitamins, multivitamin. And multivitamin. And there's more of this calcium vitamin D combo. Here's I really cannot speak to that. Um, um, looking forward to those issues Presumably later on that'll in my have life. lycopene in it, because that's uh, prostate like? support. Shall we check that out? Supports healthy prostate function, male reproductive health, contains sore palmetto, you know, so I've some sort of like... I've never heard of that before um, in my life. Zinc and selenium, like, yeah, I guess, maybe. Um, well, it looks like it has a lot of stuff in it. Oh, oh my like, god, that's a big ingredient. Turmeric, list. like it looks like they just threw the Korean ginseng. pumpkin seed. Rishima, they just they just they just Rishima threw the kitchen sink at yeah, that one. Um, um, Mega B. That's so probably a, that's just vitamin B. Can I talk about this a little bit more? Or what were you going to say? I, I was just going to say that's all I got. Based on scientific evidence, like yeah, but, yeah they all say that. I, I don't I don't know. I, um, and then we just have more of this like calcium vitamin D stuff we've talked about. Yeah, which is interesting. About. Interesting combo. It's quite a double whammy there. Magnesium. Can I say that? David David's a big magnesium fan because he's been doing a lot of research into it. Yeah, I, I like magnesium. Um, so they say based on scientific evidence. So they see that. Just give it to me so I can get it off of a camera so people can pause if need be. Can you see that there? Yeah, there we go. So it says absorption formulated with bioavailable magnesium citrate to help offer absorption. True, but like we were talking about before, but magnesium citrate is actually an ingredient used in lots of laxatives because it has a very strong laxative effect. Yes. So magnesium citrate, interesting uh, form. I'm not sure what the bioavailability is because I always just looked at it and was like, well, I don't want the laxative thing, so it doesn't matter what the bioavailability is, but it might be good. And it also may be one of those things where a laxative effect isn't too bad in certain dosages, but just like yeah. make sure you look into that if you don't want to be pooping yeah, everywhere. We have like a, a powder form of powder form of magnesium. So that's, that's, and it's orange flavor, so it's actually supposed to be flavored. Do you want to let me um, just get a little look at that? Yeah, yeah, there we, there all over. we go. So here we have, um, looks like magnesium is a citrate non-hydrate. I don't know what that would be. Then we have a magnesium uh, glycinate dihydrate. That's that's my boy right there. Um, so this has the citrate, it has the diglycinate, which should be good. Um, the dihydrate, sorry. And then we have vitamin C, zinc, calcium. So yeah, it's a, got some stuff in there. It's interesting. Um, let's move on. Uh, Vitamin C, elderberry, once again, semi homeopathic stuff. Probably has some like, antioxidants. Or vitamin something. C supplementation, though, as we discussed, is sort of up in the air. It's possibly good for immune support if you don't have a great diet. Bio C, yeah, I guess. Lots of vitamin C. Lots of vitamin C and stuff. Here. For, we saw this earlier, don't really know. Uh, seems homeopathic, maybe. Horseradish, that, uh, garlic. Uh, okay, I think horseradish has been studied quite well. Milk, milk thistle, thistle, homeopathy. Like, milk thistle, homeopathy. Like, mega B complex. The thing as well about talking. homeopathy oh. is it's such bullshit Here's, that when I actually. Um, when I see a company doing homeopathic stuff, I like trust yeah. them less when they do other stuff, if you know what I yeah. mean. Here's um, CoQ10, which is actually a supplement I just added to my supplement regime, because I don't take a multivitamin, I take things for like, very specific So do you want to talk things. a little bit about CoQ10? Um, so I don't, it, it's like super complicated, but basically CoQ10 is in your body, it's everywhere. It's found in some foods as well, I think. That's strongest around your internal organs, but it's actually everywhere. And it helps, um, like this sounds cooked, and it's going to sound real like cooked, but you can go search it up, and I'm not like joking. Your body is like an electrical machine, so when you digest foods and stuff, you're stripping away like electrons and things. I think is how it works. So, like it's really bonkers. And then like your cells form like chains that like the electron is passed down as like energy and stuff like that. And CoQ10 just makes it easier for that process to happen. So it basically, just supports energy at a very very low level in your body. And um, it sounds bonkers. Whenever I say it, explain it to someone, I think like holy shit, they're gonna think I'm insane. And mm -hmm. I was just like bagging on like milk thistle. Yeah, and then you just start um, talking about electricity to the body, but it's yeah. actually real. But it is. Yeah, go research it. Um, they, uh, this has actually been a supplementation that's been around for a while. My grandpa was taking this when he was taking like um, stuff for blood pressure. I think. Oh yeah, it's a good uh, combination. But yeah, so it has been around for a while. Um, so here, what they say is maintains healthy heart, helps maintain maintenance of healthy blood lipids. That they're probably talking about the antioxidant effect. It's a very strong um, uh, fatty acid uh, free radical um, antioxidant. So do you um, want to talk about a little, a little what that means? Because so I actually don't know too much. Like I say, we like this is just a hobby class. But as far as I understand. Um, Something can happen in like, some sort of process in the body where like, a molecule, like an oxygen mo molecule, will just like go radical and it just starts bouncing around and interacting with other mo like, part things in your body and it's not good. It's, it's just, and, that's, and that's called a free radical. Yeah, it's called a free radical. And antioxidants are just that, they're antioxidants. So they get rid of the free radicals. Yeah. And the free radicals are bad because they just mess with stuff? They just mess with stuff, it's not good. It's like having like someone running around in your factory just banging stuff. We've got someone coming up here. Oh, yeah. um, but yeah, so yeah, they add some more, maintains healthy blood lipids, maintains CoQ10 levels in the body. So yeah, like you so say. So what are the numbers like on a specific one? CoQ10 is an antioxidant, helps decrease radicals formed in the body. Like so that's we what you're talking about, about yeah. Um, so let's have a look. They actually say like, so are they, as far as I understand, ah, oh, here, um, Ubercarisone or whatever, this is probably one of the forms of um, CoQ10, 150 milligrams. So currently I'm supplementing 450, which as far as I understand is quite a high dose. Mm, yeah, but, so maybe this is just a slightly wait, lower dose. Yeah, this would be good, um, 30 capsules. 
twenty six dollars. So, so it's it, is, not, it is actually quite an expensive supplement. So it's not cheap. Mine was quite expensive as well. So it's almost a dollar a pill, actually. Um, Bearing in mind, though, for you Americans, these are New Zealand dollars, so um, yeah, not yeah, as bad as you might think. Yeah, it's almost a dollar a pill, but it is quite a good, well-studied supplement. Uh, like, like with anything, there's lots of inclusive studies as well. It's like, like nutrition yeah. science is like the most nutrition science is very uh, diffuse and kind of hard to track yeah. down. So um, let's uh, shoot along this next one. Liver, liver detox. detox. This is probably going to be once again anything with the word detox. Be, bad. be suspicious, but um, let's. What are they actually doing here? Uh, yeah, like globe artichoke, like extracts, okay. milk thistle, like. Okay, yeah. so when when you when you see artichoke extract as the first ingredient, um, be suspicious. Um, vitamin C and manuka honey, like we say. So honey. like I said before, um, manuka honey studies have been largely debunked. But um, honey on the whole has been. Honey is honey yeah. on the whole is good, but manuka honey specifically, there was a big fad for a while. Um, and I hate saying that as a New Zealander because uh, manuka honey is actually part of a big it's part of our basically our top export. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yes, it is in fact um, not C, great. Like we say, it could be good. So Another, here, Immune one. What did you did you want to so say? So I was just something? gonna say that here's some uh, magnesium and sleep stuff. As oh yeah, so we we'll see. So like we say, magnesium supports like the healthy sleep cycle. So here's just sleep. Um, this is based on scientific and traditional evidence. Yeah, so, that's so traditional very, evidence is actually not evidence. Very interesting. Um, nervous tension. So here we have uh, magnesium. Magnesium. Orotate. I've never seen that magnesium form before. Like, orotate. I don't uh, even know. I don't even know what, what that means. O R O T A T E. Okay. Um, <laughs> standardized extracts, valerian, licorice, hops, china roots. So, so it's sounding pretty breathe. homeopathic. Yeah, but maybe. Who With knows? that said, though, just a quick caveat. I'll probably make a video about this because it's an interesting topic. Just because scientific evidence doesn't exist doesn't mean something's not true. But with that said... Yeah, um, it also doesn't mean the placebo effect. Definitely. Yeah, and also, yeah, placebo. So a combination of placebo and just perhaps anecdotal evidence is right, you know? Even if you know it's placebo, like, even if you know, like, you're in the placebo group, it's, like, still, still helpful. Some, sometimes. Yeah. Um, so just keep in mind that just because I'm saying there's no scientific evidence doesn't mean there's no evidence at all, but it's just not a good indicator. <laughs> so you here's know? one called Relax and Sleep Valerian Free. So that's actually, like, hasn't got, like, one of the homeopathic ingredients. So here now we have a, a powder, so magnesium a powder. powder. Um, lemon and honey supports restful sleep, has magnesium. So let's see what they're talking about here. Um, magnesium from magnesium citrate, so, so okay. I'm just going to get these ingredients here for people. Um, yeah. Magnesium uh, glycinate dihydrate, I like that one. Um, that's the one I've been taking for a while. Uh, calcium, don't, don't, don't think calcium uh, supplementation is that good, like we talked about. Potassium, chlorine, install, hot, passion flower. Did you just say chlorine? Co choline. Oh, okay. Choline. <laughs> okay, um, choline is very I'm good. A very choline. Skim choline um is actually a very good ingredient for your skin. It's found in eggs. Um, Eat eggs, people. Yes. Eggs are um, and here we have passion flower, which is actually one that I have in uh, magnesium supplement. I just took because I was like, you know what? Like there was one specifically branded as sleep from a brand that I liked, and I was like, you know what? Yep. Like, let's try. Um, okay, so here we're getting into some fish oils. Yeah, yeah. So here we have fish oil, um, fish oil mini caps. Um, so maybe high potency formula. Um. 330 milligra milligrams of omega-3. That's actually pretty good. Power uh, ratios. Because like we said before, it's always the ratio of omega-6 to omega-3. Okay, here we go. Omega-3 triglycerides, 500 milligrams of like what's in the capsule. Mm. A total omega-3 acids expressed as triglycerides, 330 milligrams, including DPA, uh, sorry, EPA and DHA, 300 milligrams. So they don't actually say what the ratio is there. So interesting. It's a bit um, concerning. Ideal if you don't eat fish two to three times a week. It's what's out there. Yeah, you can get your omega-3s from fish. Um, um, so, but it's not like it's not like one of those things that you don't need. Like you can have an all omega six diet, You'd probably be like fairly unhealthy. But like, I don't think it's like if you don't eat your fish and you don't take an omega three supplement, you're not gonna like fall over. True, but it's yeah. the same thing with all the stuff. All the stuff is just to optimize your health. Most of the time, like if you're not yeah. taking your tumor supplement, you're not gonna like die. But it may be that you um, can increase your health like and we well-being. Have, here we have flaxseed oil. So we've already so talked about that. We talked about flaxseed oil in the first video. Very low absorption, <laughs> a conversion to like an actual bioavailable, useful form of omega three. Um. um we go triple super strength fish oil. Okay, so we should check that one out because it's claiming to be triple super strength and it's thirty. Yeah, so nine. So, so this so. one was three hundred milligrams. And this is nine hundred milligrams. Okay, so, so that is triple super strength. Can't argue with that. Actually, a lot. And we have the ratio here. So we have 500, uh, 1 point five gram dosage with nine hundred grams of triglycer uh, omega three triglycerides, five forty EPA, uh, three sixty DHA. So one of these is the the brain one. I, I think it might be DHA. I'm not sure. I sorry, forgive me. I forget. I believe but it's DHA, but don't. You want DHA to be But you want both of them. They're both good for you. You want both. They're both good. Uh, here's a 
Here's an Amiga Brain one. This is, yeah, here. Hi, see, we were just so, talking so about So it was DHA. Hi, yeah. DHA Fish Oil. So let's have a look at what they are talking about. So, Four so um, DHA is some studies have associated, or many studies have associated with uh, better brain function. Passing into like the brain blood barrier, etc., etc. 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 et, cetera, et, cetera, et, cetera, et cetera. Um, Concentrated, uh, so a one gram dosage, so half, uh, 50% smaller or whatever than this one. Um, EPA, 100 milligrams. DHA, 500 milligrams. So that's actually like quite an interesting product. It's... Thirty-two dollars and how many? sixty capsules. So, so you're paying about fifty cents a pill. Interesting, but I think so far out of all of these ones we've looked at, I you would reckon? probably take this one. Um, so I, far. I think I might look for this triple strength one because I'm not yeah, too concerned about more the brain omega, ratio. Yeah, I just more, want more omega three. More like omega threes, and this is the same one that we. In fact, at I'm actually here. Um, the reason we're here in the first place, I'm actually here to buy some supplements. Maybe so after eventually. After we record this, if he, um, if he sets me free, we will like, buy supplements. Yeah, I've actually got. I've actually a uh, black veil like David. I've chained him up, and he was been forced to record his um, videos with me. So here's a glucosamine. We saw this before. I actually don't know. Much better, I don't so know what we'll, that is. we'll pass on that. Maybe we'll come back and do like a joint formula, mm. glucamine. Uh, so do we don't not know, know what any of those things Biomagnesium. Are. Let's have a look. This is really interesting. Mm -hmm. 50 tablets, quite seriously, 50 tablets in here. Interesting. Um, magnesium oxide heavy, first ingredient, not great. Magnesium phosphate pentahydrate, good. Calcium, mm. yeah, mm. Mm. it's okay. Wait, did they have? Oh, vitamin D in here. See, we were just talking about them putting vitamin D in everything. This is a very small dosage, though. 100 IU of vitamin D. But they, they, they like to hide it away in all sorts Maybe of things. Maybe it's one of those things where they put it to help absorption, although I wouldn't yeah, be sure I think on so. that. Yeah, um, um, so here, turmeric, here we We're talking about turmeric, opti optimized curcumin. That's what, cur so that's yeah, the curcumin. That's what you want. That's like what you're looking for in the turmeric. Um, uh, blah, blah, blah. It contains long via, so that's just probably some branded uh, supplement thing, like a uh, bioprene. So here we have our curcumin 400, uh, active curcumin 80 milligrams. That's a very small. Um, What's that behind you, Michael? Oh, sorry. Um, and yeah, uh, just curcumin, it doesn't have actually, it looks like it doesn't have any of the black pepper extract. Any of so that. the black pepper extract helps with absorption um, of curcumin. And then we have some. Uh, Probiotics here, like we said. It's like we said, if it's a good probiotic, it's good, but we don't know what makes it good. <laughs> um, so now we're back into the multivitamins. We'll skip across all of these. These are all Men's multivitamins. Um, let's have a look. Just, just lots of interest sake. Men's performance. So how does this differ from like a multivitamin? Maybe. Let's I think it is just a multivitamin. Um, so there's all our ingredients. So there's a lot of stuff, but it's probably tuned towards like uh, brain performance. I wonder if it has like more magnesium, you know, to help with like the recovery of the. Um, yeah, it's like lots of potassium, uh, magnesium oxide, awesome. Uh, maybe to like, it targets like the recovery and like the electrolytes and those sort of things. Um, um so just that's more like with, gummies. See, with multivitamins, like if you're looking at this, is like just what like, look how many like ingredients there are on this. Like you have to go through all of these and try to figure out if it's the right source that you want and all of this. And some of these you don't really want, like I just supplement omega-3, magnesium, coke or shall I? Um, and and turmeric, like those those things, and even the coke tin and the turmeric I just added recently, and I'm kind of like just interested to see where they go, you know. Um, so yeah, uh, do you want to look at the fish oil? Yeah, I'm actually I want to because these this is down here is the cheap fish oil. Um, Twenty two for two hundred capsules. This is so, like, so that's cheap. That's very this cheap. This is very cheap. Um, but is it good? One point five gram dosage, but only four fifty omega three. So there's other stuff in there that like you might just not know. Um, it, does it have the I'm just I'm just looking at like uh, what they have to say for themselves. Uh, they must surely. There it is. Where? Is it not uh, there? 1,000 milligrams of fish. Fish oil, but it doesn't say. Oh, it doesn't say specifically. Like that's so, so if a supplement is not giving you the specific stuff in the supplement, that is a concerning state of affairs. Yeah, like uh, I, yeah, it, okay. I don't, I don't think it says it anyway. Shall we move on from that? Cheeky chest. I'm not even sure if that is that legal. Is that in my lord? Is that legal? Um, so here we have more vitamin C, as we've talked about. Yeah, uh, more vitamin C, more glucosamine, C. fish oil. Yeah. Uh, now let's get out some. Here's the even cheaper fish so oil. So this is the cheap. Cheap, okay, cheap fish oil. 270, 150 milligrams, like we talked about. Um, Odorless mercury tested, like they're really trying to. Okay, that's a bit powerful. Have to try 50 more EPA and DHA than other fatty acids. They're advertising themselves. Do they actually say what's going on here? Yes, they do. Here we go. 1,500 milligrams of fish oil, equivalent to 450. So it's a low amount of omega 3s and that much fish oil, you would suspect. And lots of EPA and a little bit of a DHA. Um, Capsulating acids and antioxidants. So, I mean, if you want to get your like omega threes and you want to, do and how many it on pills cheap, are in there, David? Two hundred and seventy. So two hundred and seventy for twenty dollars. That's very you very want to cheap. Do it on the cheap. I mean, yeah. And so here's some. I uh, might be picking that one up when we leave here. To be honest, <laughs> you're such a cheapie. Yeah. Here's another one. Um, this is two hundred capsules. Uh, Fifteen 
bucks. That's so it's even cheaper. So this might be good because it's, it's an. Well, it's actually about the same price because 270. It's a very branded product. This one, um, fish oils. No, it's worse. One gram. 180 milligrams Ooh, of numbers are EPA, so 120 at DHA, so not very strong. Maybe you could, what you could do is, so you need to do the ratios, like, you could buy this, take three capsules a day, it would still last you a long time. True, but you um, would lose, but it becomes three times more expensive when you do that, something yeah. to think about. Um, high strength wild fish, so this was just odorless wild fish, this is their high strength one. And we get three, uh, 200 capsules, you pay an extra eight bucks, seven bucks. Um, 150 milligrams, bigger dosage, let's have a look. 1.5 grams. Uh, EPA Shall 270, we... DHA 180. So yes, yeah, a little bit higher, but it's still still pretty low compared seems... to that one on the left there. Yeah, still seems like it's on the cheap. Um, right, here we have here's an a... even bigger one. So that's just a big version. 500 of capsules. That's oh my insane. god, for 20 dollars? That's actually David. That's insanely cheap. Yeah, so you could get this and take five a day. So actually, give me like a very detailed day. review of this one because I want to know if I should buy it. And um, this is the same one as the one that we we're just looking at. Okay. Yeah. So um, it's a one gram dosage, 180 milligrams, 120 milligrams of DHA. Um, I mean, you yeah. You can't argue with that. You could take five, but if you look at it, the, the interesting thing though is one gram fish oil, right? So they're giving mm. you one gram of fish oil, then you're getting 180 and 120. So that means total 300 milligrams. So that means the remaining 600 milligrams are just something else. You don't know what it is. Like, you're just uh, hoping it's not like um, just pure omega 6s or yeah, something. Yeah, because if it is pure omega 6s, you've sort of undone all the benefit Here you, we go, you've fish got. Oil, Some more fish oil. This is, uh, 200 capsules, see we're on the bargain basement cheap section Although here. this is actually $30, so it's not as cheap as it is. Natural fish be. oil, um, 180, 120, it's exactly that's the same as this one. But actually. more expensive. It's the same thing but more expensive. Um, do they have to say, do they have anything else to say for themselves? Nope, they don't. Um, this one, what do we have here? Last Women's one. multivitamin, nope. Nope, don't want that. Um, okay, so um, that is makes the end of part, I believe this is part three. Part three, um, and now we have part And now we have this final we'll shelf to go through, and then we'll finally be able to escape this horrid supermarket. Uh, so thanks very much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Season Baji!